Hello guys, today I want to show you a practical example of Laravel Livewire. And Livewire is best known or most widely used for some interactivity in the forms. And one of the best examples I came up with for interactivity is the so-called master detail form or parent-child form, where there is a main form and then underneath there are children and you can add more children, delete, choose something, then add another, then delete this one and do some interactive stuff and under the hood of that is JavaScript. And there are multiple ways to write that JavaScript. In the older days it was plain JavaScript, then there was jQuery, then there was Vue.js more popular in Laravel, and now Livewire is making it the easiest to implement that for backend developers. So in this video I will show you how to implement this interactivity without writing any JavaScript line at all. No code JavaScript, only Livewire in Laravel language. And I will create the Livewire thing from scratch, so from installing Livewire. But before we do coding stuff, I want to philosophically explain to you why Livewire is useful to compare with the old way of doing such stuff with jQuery or Vue.js. And the idea for this video came from our old project, old demo in Quick Admin Panel blog. We did try to create master detail form. It's working, it's actually on GitHub, I will link in the show notes. And it works in a similar way, but the problem is that the code is not really that pretty. Under the hood, if we open that code, there is a table of products with IDs of product index and jQuery code is actually working not with the data of products but with DOM elements with lines, deleting lines, adding lines. It's a pretty simple code in JavaScript and for us backend developers it's probably more convenient to work with the data. So some kind of product array which we just expand or subtract so add new elements and work with the data with variables instead of DOM elements. And one step towards that direction was Vue.js. If you write that in Vue.js component, we have a similar example of shop catalog on Vue.js. And if we open resources.js components front index, in that index there should be some variables, so products and categories, and they are taken from the backend with some logic and stuff like that. So another approach of doing reactivity is having some properties, some variables in Vue.js components and then working with them inside of that Vue.js component. So that's already a step further towards data-driven approach, so we we'll work with the data and not just with HTML. And Livewire makes it even easier. So let's dive into live coding with Livewire. And the starting point for our application will be this form, only backend without any JavaScript. So in the blade, we have just for each array of three elements, which means that they are static. You cannot delete or add another product. So those links and that button doesn't do anything yet. We are just hard coding three lines with product ID and quantity. For each of all products comes from the controller. We have products in our database. I already have seeded those. So it's just a simple blade form with for each loop. So if we change, for example, this, it will be four products refresh. And if I fill that in with fake filler Chrome extension, I can choose, for example, another product, some quantity, for example, and I save the order. Order stored successfully because in the controller, everything is prepared. So we're creating the order and then there's belongs to many relationship, many to many with request order products. For those who want to know more about many-to-many -many relationships, I have a separate video and I will link that in the description of this video. But in the database, by this point, we have orders, one order, and then order product is four lines with many-to-many -many relationships. And now our goal is to make that form, let's refresh that, that form dynamic. So to make the delete work and add another product. And let's start with add another product. And I want you to understand how Livewire works exactly. So I will do a weird step now, but it will make sense in a minute. So instead of that hard-coded array, I will do order products. So this is our goal, to work with some kind of array that we will manipulate with. And then that array will go to the backend. So for each order product says index order product. And then nothing changes for now. And that order products, for now, let it come from the controller. So order products equals, for example, array of one element, which will be empty for now. 
and we pass that order products. And if we refresh our page, we should see one element. And now let's put it into Livewire example. All you need to install Livewire is Go Composer require Livewire Livewire. So we go Composer require Livewire Livewire. Currently it's version 2.2 of Livewire. Okay, installed. And now in our application we need to add two things in our main blade application layout. So extends layouts app and if we open app blade PHP, we need to add two commands in the head live wire styles and if we copy and paste and at the bottom live wire script. And that's it, live wire is installed. And now our goal is to create a live wire component. It's kind of a similar thing to Vue.js component if you think about it, but it will be only backend thing. So if we go PHP artisan make live wire products. It will create two files for us. So live wire products component backend logic and then blade file. It's a pretty similar to Vue.js component template and script section. Just again, no JavaScript. And if we open that product blade, it is in resources views live wire products blade. Here inside of that div element, we can do whatever. So for example, for now, let's put in hello and the live wire component is in app HTTP live wire products. And all it does by default, it renders the view products blade. And to include that in our create blade, we just do at the bottom, for example, live wire products. And we refresh and we see hello. So in a very basic sense, default Laravel Livewire is include of another blade with some logic. But now let's make the magic happen with products array here. So we will move our current form, the whole form, into Livewire component blade. So cut, and then inside of that products blade, instead of hello, we do paste. And now let's take care of the variables and I will show you the magic how Livewire works with variables. So order products and all products become properties of products component. So public products equals array by default and then public all products equals also array. In fact, I think it should be order products. Let me check. So order products. Yeah, it is order products. And now if we refresh our page without any changes, we should see the form but without products because this one is empty. Let's refresh. As I told you, no products. So it's actually executing that for each and order products is available in the blade of live wire. We don't have to pass it anywhere. Property here in the component that properties are available in any view of live wire. And then there is a method called mount. It's kind of a constructor of Livewire component, public function mount. And here you can assign any starting variables for your properties. So this all products equals product all. And now we can remove that from the controller. So this doesn't matter here anymore. And in fact, order products is also irrelevant because we will do exactly this thing in the mount. And now if we refresh our page, we see one product with all the products here. And probably we should set that quantity to one by default, right? So as a proof how Livewire works with variables, I want to show you one thing. So we have that quantity and we can set the value of order product, I think it is. So this one order product quantity, right? And then in our live wire component, instead of doing that, let's just assign product ID equals one and quantity equals one. Or in fact, product ID should be empty for now. And let's refresh our page. And we see quantity one by default because it shows exactly the value of quantity one. And now the real magic will happen. On products blade, let's implement that button of add another product. For that, we will define wire click and we pass any method name we want. So add product. And that wire click is a live wire event, which is the same as would be JavaScript event like click on the button. 
JavaScript or jQuery or Vue. So the goal of Livewire, one of the goals, is to expose the same or almost identical JavaScript events without writing actual JavaScript. And not even just wire click, we can use similar syntax to Vue.js to prevent the default action. So click prevent would prevent any default action of that button, which could be form submit. And that add product is not a JavaScript function or method. So another proof that you don't have to write any JavaScript, you copy the method name and in your live wire component, you do public function add product. And the logic won't be add another line to the products table. It will be add another item to the products array. So we do this, order products, and add another item, so like this. Actually, probably this is the syntax. So all we're doing, we're adding one element to the array, and if we refresh the page now, everything is still the same, but if we click add another product, we see another line. Again, we haven't written any line of JavaScript, but Livewire automatically re-renders the whole HTML for that section, using the new values of the variables of the properties here. Under the hood, what's happening in the browser console? Refresh the page again. And if we click add another product, as you can see, there is an Ajax request to the server. And the return of that request is HTML code. So the whole section here, the whole include here is re-rendered, returned from live wire from the server as HTML and re-rendered with new variable values. And let's test if nothing broke here. So if we fill in that form with form filler again, with fig filler Chrome extension, we submit and we still have successful order. If we take a look at the database, new order with two products, everything is okay, everything is saved. So Livewire didn't break any variables in the blade file here. All of those are still set correctly. Now let's implement the delete of the product. So we do wire, click prevent, remove product, that will be our method name. But in this case, we need a parameter, which line, which product, and this should be a parameter index. How do we pass the parameter? With blade. So we do this and echo it as a blade variable like this. And let's implement that in the actual component, public remove product index. We unset that array element so order products index and then we need to reshuffle the values with array values this order products so it will get re-indexed so if some element is deleted from the array you need to still reshuffle the indexes and let's refresh the page that form let's add another product let's choose this one and let's delete that one the line is deleted let's try again Another product, another product, delete this, delete that. And deleting is working, but you probably notice that the variables aren't saved because we didn't set up the action back to the component from blade. So whenever something is changed here, in the blade, we need to change the variable back in the component controller, so to speak. You can call it a controller. It's a similar concept. And to do that, we need to bind the data. Again, similar to Vue.js. In Vue.js, it would be vModel. In Livewire, it's WireModel. So instead of that value, we're not passing that anymore. It will come from the component. We do wire model order products, and we are binding to the exact element and that element, exact element, sub element, so dot index dot quantity. It's immediately a bit advanced Livewire example, but it's pretty similar to default Laravel, how Laravel deals with arrays and dot notations and error messaging and stuff like that. So it should be pretty familiar to you. And we do the same wire model to product ID on the select here. Just instead of quantity, we do product ID. And let's refresh the page. We add another product, we choose some values, and we delete that line. And as you can see, we have a new line here. Let's add another product, for example, this one, but then we changed our mind and let's delete that one. So now all the data manipulation comes back and forth to and from component. And let me show you in the component. So before rendering, which is called every time of re-rendering, let's do info 
this order product in the log. In Laravel log, let's log the latest value of this array. And I've emptied my Laravel log. And if we refresh the page, let's open Laravel log. Default value is product ID and quantity, which comes from the mount here. But if we change this, look at Laravel log again. It's re-rendering and saving the data. In fact, it's the other way around. Wire model binds the blade variable to the component and then component itself re-renders the HTML with new data. Product ID, same thing, new values. We add another product, again, re-rendering. We remove the product, delete, again, re-rendering. Actually, I noticed that this didn't refresh. Oh, of course, I didn't assign that to anything. So this order products equals array values. So if we refresh the page now, add another product, add another product. So zero, one, and two. And if we set the values for number two and delete number one, we should have zero and one re-indexed. Great. And again, final test. Would it work? Save order, success in the database. We have another order and we have two products for that order. So that's it for this video. I didn't touch anything on the validation of the form, so that's for the future videos. But I wanted to show you the live coding way of simplicity of Livewire. To recap, I didn't write any line of JavaScript, but made the form dynamic with adding and removing the elements. So if you haven't tried Livewire, did you like it and will you try? Add your opinion in the comments and let me know what other topics around Livewire I should cover on this YouTube channel. And to support this channel and videos like this one, you can do one of two things. Use our Laravel admin panel generator at quickadminpanel.com or enroll in one of my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.